This whole Miami alien thing just is not going away and it's absolutely getting exploded with more and more people by the day it would seem coming out to speak about their experiences from supposedly being at the Miami Mall on New Year's Day of 2024 when a 10 foot supposed shadowy alien was captured on camera. Now if you haven't seen it or you've been living under a rock, here's the footage. <laughs> Esta es una llamada a todas las unidades de la ciudad de Miami. Esto es en Bayside ahora. y 35 de la noche de hoy primero de enero frente a Bayside no sabemos qué está pasando sean testigos de cuando se produce una llamada a todas las unidades. Y las que vienen en camino. And since this clip has become uh, public information, it has gone absolutely viral with countless people coming forward since this stating that they were there at the mall during this time and they saw exactly what happened. One of these people is someone that goes by the name on TikTok of notic underscore one who said this 14 hours ago. My name is Nautic and I was also at the mall when I saw the 10 feet alien. I'm gonna give you my testimony right now. So what I saw, I was just standing in, in the side of the mall and then I saw everybody running towards the center of the mall. As everybody's running towards the center of the mall, I went to try to take out my phone. But um, as soon as I got to my phone, I looked up and I see this 10 feet creature just like moving side to side. The images was like cutting in and out. It wasn't clear. He was fading in and out of like reality, I guess. And then three other ones appeared and they was fading in and out of reality too. It's like they wanted to be here, but it's like we, we had the power to see them, but we couldn't see them all the way. Like we needed to have, I don't know, or they needed to come all the way out. I don't know, but it was a little shaky. The cops came, it was like a million cops out there. It was nasty. And then they, would, they asked everybody for their phones right before um, we departed. So they, they made a, a perimeter around these aliens and they was checking everybody's phones. But I got somebody with a picture and a video and um, he's from Miami, he's a resident of Miami and from Orlando and he was at the mall too. So me and him became cool when he was running away. I was like, yeah, you got that? He was like, yeah, I got that. So me and him are in contact and he's just, scared to release the video i guess but i'm gonna have the video because we cool so that does go hand in hand with what everyone else was saying everyone else's statements was that they were shadowy figures that were kind of fading in and out of uh reality um now he of course is not the only witness to step forward as another witness who goes by the name of sin sinny stir shot 
I've absolutely butchered that. But uh, here's what he had to say about his interactions with whatever it was. My basement to film this. This shit is so crazy. I'm posting this, uh, and I want y'all to repost, save this video, post it on other platforms before it gets taken down. Because I want to clear up some of this misinformation about the Bayside Mall incident that happened. Um, so me and my girl was in town, and we were shopping at the mall, and we noticed a lot of kids there. Um, it wasn't a real big deal at first until they got to arguing and shoving, and then like weapons got brought in, and uh, they started fighting, running all over the mall, chaos just all over the place. So we thought we heard gunshots, but it turns out that that was actually fireworks. But either way, that caused everybody to start rushing for the doors. Uh, people was leaving stuff behind. I mean, just dragging their kids. It was just complete fucking chaos, man. Uh, anyway, so as we running, we look back and we noticed some weird shapes taller than me. I'm six foot two, shadowy, dark, solid shapes not human i promise you these is not human i mean it made the hair stand up on my skin uh and shit we just booked it for the doors after that man i can't explain what that was i can't say that was aliens but i i can't say that sh that was not human it was not human and they online i don't know if they're trying to cover this stuff up but they saying that it was uh police officers and and somebody not shadowy figures it's 2024, man. It, it's something going on. There's something going on, and they're trying to cover it up. A lot of people saw what I saw, and like I say, it was so much chaos ensued that it was it was just hard to to to, to let that sink in that we was realizing what what we looking at. I mean, it's some some you can never even create in your head in a dream. Um, I'm putting this out there though, man, because I want people to know that this this stuff is real. Get get this out and spread this. And if you were a person that was there and you saw it, what I saw, please put this video out because they're trying to cover this stuff up, man. They don't want us to to tell the truth. And I got a good feeling this video will be taken down. So don't listen to the media. This shit is real, and whatever it is, they do not want people to know about it. I can't even, man. Absolutely wild. So there, in his testimony, he was absolutely adamant that everything was real and to not believe the media and what they're saying about it being um, not aliens and actually be kids playing with fireworks. Now, he is not the only one to testify. As there was a third witness who has also come out to speak about it. Um, this does come from the same TikTok page. I think this TikTok page is kind of collating the evidence or collating the witness statements and kind of reposting them to their own TikTok page. So let's take a look at this one too. What's up, y'all? I'm here to set the record straight, man. Like, I literally have been getting interrogated by the Miami Police Department for days, my dude. I look, look at me. <laughs> um, it is really aliens. It's really aliens. And I cannot believe that the Miami Police Department is really gonna try to make it seem like they had all those ca police cars and stuff out there over some kids fighting, y'all. We talking about three and four blocks we get in it, we, they asked us, first they asked us what we saw. It was me, two of my cousins, and one of my homegirls. All three of us being basically locked the fuck up. I ain't trying to get in trouble or nothing like that, but I'm just telling y'all, man. This shit is so real, man. Like, everybody saw it. There will be more reports coming out. There will be more reports coming out on this, man. But I just wanted to go on record and speak my truth. You know, they asked us not to speak about it. Any any blog site, any 
news site, anybody who wants to talk to me, please get in my DM, man. Because that's the only way I would tell my whole truth. But I just want to let y'all know, man. Aliens are real. It was three of them. And we couldn't believe it. Y'all like this video. Get this video trending. And I'll post my own cell phone footage. They tried to actually take my cell phone footage. You know what I'm saying? I showed them that thinking that I'm helping the world. They trying to get, they trying to delete it. But once you delete something on your phone, they have recent delete. Recently deleting, you have to put your password in. I wasn't able to, I wasn't willing to get them that. So, man, y'all get this video to where it need to be, and I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go crazy. Once again, another person coming out to say that the police tried to take their phone as they were leaving the Miami Mall. Um, but what's very interesting is that both people have said that they have got footage, but they will only share it if their videos get likes and shares. That to me is a big red flag. Um, I don't know about you guys, but for me, if I had the footage and I had literal footage of me with an alien, I would absolutely be posting it regardless of what my following was. I would just post it and just let the internet take care of it. But that's just me. Now, coming back to the original man, the original whistle-blowing witness, who remembers this clip right here? So, since nobody's going to talk about it, I figured, you know, fuck it, like, you know what I'm saying? I was uh, I was down in Miami for uh, the New Year's, you know what I'm saying? Me and my girl, I got a little timeshare. We was down there on a, um, like a mini vacay, you know, just to start the New Year's off right. So anyway, we had, we happened to be at that mall. So um, we had Foot Locker or whatever. Next thing you know, you start hearing all this commotion outside, sound like fire, like firecrackers or something. So, you know what I'm saying? I, you know, I grab her close. I'm like, yo, we about to get up out of here because I, you know, I originally thought that they were shooting. You know what I'm saying? I thought, you know, some type of um, gunfight had broke out, whatever the case is, because, you know, we're not familiar with Miami. We're not familiar with the city. So I'm like, damn, I ain't even got my blick. So, you know what I'm saying? We about to, we about to, we about to swerve. Next thing I know, it's like crazy. Like, we just see all these people running, like, you know, uh, fat, fat, fat chicks, you know, old ladies, like, I'm talking about moving. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, old people even move i'm talking about moving so you know my girl she's like what's going on i'm like fuck all that we out like i'm not gonna ask no questions we just gonna follow the crowd next thing you know you know real like gunshots start going off so you know what i'm saying like we trying to we trying to follow the follow the crowd get out of there i look back i look back no cap yo no cap i look back it looked like 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 a big ass shadow but it was solid at the same time like a few like a few shadows but they were solid at the same time. And them, it's, it almost looked like they was coming our direction, like they was chasing us. But they was disappearing and reappearing closer. So I'm like, yo, what? So we start really moving. Next thing you know, we start hearing more gunshots. Like these dudes start firing at this shit. Get outside, mad police, all that. You know what I'm saying? They start, the police is like trying to get all the people that ran out the mall. They like trying to like um, detain these people, whatever. But, you know, me and my girl, we ended up just, you know, s s sliding past all that and everything like that. But, you know, a lot of people saying, why didn't nobody film and all that? When that type of shit is going on, you know what I'm saying? Shit like that, like some paranormal, nobody thinking about no phone. You know what I'm saying? Everybody going survival mode. But for real, for real, they lying, yo. It was, they, they all them, all them officers and all that, they was not there because of um, no kids fighting. It was really some, it was really some like movie shit going on in there, yo. So, you know, that's what it was, yo. So that was Sosa Pippin, who was one of the first people when this all started kicking off to come out and um, explain himself as a, quote, witness to it. Well, this was Sosa Pippin no more than 24 hours later. Yo, listen. Yo, y'all gotta chill. Yo, this shit crazy. I never been to Miami in my life. I was dead trolling, yo. Y'all cannot, yo, y'all can't be that, like, y'all can't be that gullible, yo. I was dead-ass trolling. I've never been to Miami. I'm not in danger. I'm chilling. Like, real, I mean, fuck it. Y'all want to make me go viral? I don't give a fuck. 
But yo, listen, for real, I was trolling. I'm chilling. What's wrong with y'all? Shit crazy, yo. That, y'all bugging. So that was posted no more than 24 hours. And when you go to his page now, you can see people crazy. I was dead ass trolling. And then his cash app. And the original video that he posted of him giving his statement is now being deleted from his page, which has sparked yet another, uh, what's the word? Conspiracy. Uh, that he was forced to take his video down by the government. Um, that's the that's what people are now talking about. He was forced to take it down. He was paid to take it down by the government because they did not want the information of aliens spreading like wildfire, even though I think it's a bit late for that. But those are all the witnesses that have come out to speak about this entire situation. But there has since been a more supposed leaked footage from inside the mall um, with someone who must have been recording on a potato. This person's tried to increase the quality of the video, but I'm just going to play it for you because you can make with it what you want. It's brand new footage coming out of Miami, Florida regarding the Bayside Market alien incident. This witness captures those three beans on film. Okay. I have enhanced the video as much as I possibly could, as well as slowed it down at the end so you can see. Bro, bro, bro. Everyone's going this way. What the hell? Yo. Yo, what is that? Bro, you filmed this on a potato. Is that actually the creatures? Ah, dude, I'm sorry. This quality. I don't know if I'm buying this at all. Honestly, like, what did you film this on? Your fucking sneaker? Did Nike come out with a camera? I don't know, man. Now, you can obviously hear by uh, Mitchell React's response there that it's not the most believable clip, but I wanted to play it for you guys because, well, it's the internet and people like to run wild with these kind of conspiracies, but... I've also unearthed another video of a supposed UFO that was flying over Miami on the 1st of January. Literally about half an hour before the everyone dispersed from the mall. Take a little look. Did you see it? I thought when it was over here, it looked so crazy. It looked like it's on fire. So what do you make of all of this? There are there have been the witnesses, there have been the UFO videos and the supposed footage from inside the mall, but well there was one person who also came out and was like, yeah, I, I, I was literally making it up. So it just goes to show how easy it is for these people to claim to be witnesses there at the Miami Mall during the time of the incident. I'd like to leave it all with you, so let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comments. While you're down there, be sure to jump to get the hell out of that like button. Subscribe if you're new and tickle my little bell so you get notified whenever we upload. And until next time, guys, I hope that you have enjoyed, and we'll speak to you later. Peace.